Hello guys, today we are going to create Maelstrom using Custom Force in Flip Simulation. Let's dive into Houdini. Create a box node. Set the box size to 8 meters on X axis, 0.5 meters on Y axis, and 8 meters on Z axis. Transform the box below the grid by setting the center Y parameter to minus 0.4. Take a blast node and delete the top and bottom primitive. Take a fluid source node. This node has been removed from Houdini. I'm using QLib package. You can also install it, it's totally free. I will give the download link in the description. In the source attribute and name field, rename it to surface from density. Since Flip Solver needs surface SDF. Toggle on output SDF. In the visualize menu select ISO surface. Increase the border value to 1. In the SDF from geometry increase the edge location to 0.2. Now we can see the volume VDB. Go to Advanced Setting and toggle on Create Particle. Form the Initialize menu select Source Flip and turn off Use Optimization. Now if you take the Blast node and delete the surface volume, you can see the particle that are created under Inside Volume. Now copy the parameter of Division Size and paste Relative Reference in Particle Separation. In this way if we change the division size we are changing the particle separation as well. Now add a null and named it as out emitter. Now take a particle fluid tank node. In the particle separation right click and click on paste relative reference. Increase the size of x-axis by 8 meters, y-axis by 2.5 meters, and in z-axis by 8 meters. Adjust the center as well. Add a null. Now take a dot network and dive inside it. Let's set up a basic flip simulation. As you can see we are getting sprites here to make this as a particle. Go to the initial data tab and from input type select particle field, and in the SOP path, feed our out tank null. Now go to the guide tab, from that go to the particle tab, from the visualization menu select particle. Now copy the parameter of particle separation and paste relative reference in fluid source division size. Now if you change the particle separation from the DOP network, everything gonna change automatically. Now take a volume source and connect it to fourth input. In the initialize menu select source flip. In the SOP path point out our emitter null. Now our box size of flip solver is too big, let's make it same like particle fluid tank. 
let's copy and paste the relative reference from particle fluid tank. As you can see the particle are getting deleted. To fix this select flip object and toggle on closed boundaries. Now the particle are not getting deleted. Now in the flip solver go to the particle motion tab, from that go to behavior tab and toggle on reap particle. By turning on reap particle it's going to kill any particles whose age attribute is greater than its life attribute. Now go to the volume motion tab, from that select the solver tab and turn on use preconditioner. Now it's time to create the custom force using sine wave. Take a pop pop and connect a second input of the flip solver. Let's start creating our custom force.
increase the global force to 3. Let's preview this and see whether it's working or not. Cool, it's working. Let's adjust the noise parameter. Increase the amplitude to 2. Let's animate the offset. Put Taiwan dollar in every axis. Increase the frequency to 3. Take a bound node and connect it to out emitter. In the lower padding parameter type minus 1.5 and copy the parameter and paste relative reference in z-axis parameters. Put the value of 10 and Y axis on both the padding. Now take a group node. In the group type select point, turn of base group and turn on keep in bounding region. In the bounding type select bounding object. And in the second input of group, connect our bound node. Now take a blast node and select the group that we created. Now toggle on delete non-selected. Now take a particle fluid surface node. Go to output section. From the convert menu select particles. And from visualize menu select velocity. Now let's make a flip book and see how it's looking. Cool. As you know when the maelstrom form, the center of the maelstrom get inside. So to do this we are going to make another simple VOP setup. Take an attribute VOP node and dive inside it. Take a mix node. Connect the global position to first input of the mix. Now take a transform matrix node. Connect the global position to POS. Promote the transform and scale parameter. 
Now connect the output of X from to 2 input of mix. For the bias, we are going to make a ramp. Take a length node and connect it to P input. Take a fit range and connect it to the output of length. In the source max increase the value to 3, destination min to 1, and destination max to 0. Now take a ramp parameter and connect it to fit range and output to the bias of the mix node. Now connect the bias output to P. Come outside of VOP and in the ramp color and the second point and make it a gray color, so the color goes blend perfectly. Now put the value to minus 2 on the y-axis of translate. This is a low resolution sim. If you're gonna make a high resolution simulation then it will look like this. Thank you guys for watching see you in next tutorial. If you like this tutorial make sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel.